Tuesday morning, how's it going? Uh, this is your practice spelling words for Spell Bowl for the week of uh, the Friday, which is September 15th. Um, read through 20 words, do these on your uh, practice quiz that you can take. So obviously it's not for a grade, uh, it's just to kind of quiz yourself. And then on Friday, Mr. Motes will give you 10 words, 10 to 12 words, and uh, see how well you know them, okay? So number one, browsing. So if you look casually around a store, you're like, nah, I'm just browsing, just checking stuff out, browsing. Number two, cancellation. We had a cancellation uh, in our dinner party, so we had to find somebody else to fill it. Cancellation. Number three, capuchin. Um, I always thought it was a type of monkey. There, there are capuchin monkeys, uh, but I looked this up. It's a hooded cloak for a woman. Capuchin. Number four, certification. So if you uh, have to provide an uh, official document uh, showing that you've achieved a certain level of achievement, <clears throat> um, that'd be your certification. Um, number five, characterization. The description of the features of someone, usually from like a story, talking about their their character, uh, that'd be an example of characterization. Number six, chlorine. Uh, a lot of pools that you swim in have a lot of chlorine in them. Uh, they might make your, your eyes sting a little bit if you open them underwater. Chlorine. Number seven, citronella. Citronella candles, uh, we burn those a lot of times when the bugs are real bad. Uh, it's a natural oil. They use in certain uh, candles to keep insects away. Number eight <clears throat> is the word coagulate. Coagulate. And uh, that's when um, usually like a liquid, it starts to thicken up. Um, your blood actually coagulates. It thickens. It kind of turns into a semi-solid state after a while. Um, if you are bleeding a lot. <laughs> It's gross. Number nine, coinciding. Coinciding is when things happen happen at the same time. So if you have two events co coinciding, it means that they're going on at the exact same time. Number 10 is college. Uh, hopefully you guys are planning on pursuing college uh, once you get out of high school to further your education. 10 was college. <clears throat> 11, commendable. If something is commendable, uh, it's deserving of praise uh, or recognition. Commendable. Twelve, confidence. So uh, relying on something or, or believing firmly that you can do something, you have confidence in yourself. Thirteen, congratulate. So if you can <clears throat> sorry, congratulate someone uh, for, for winning a race or for... Uh, they're oh, getting an A plus on a test. Congratulate! You're telling them, "Hey, good job." Fourteen consideration. Um, if you if something's getting your consideration, it means that they're thinking about it. Uh, consideration. Number fifteen is a cow catcher, and this is something I had to look up because obviously it sounds like person who catches cows but uh, it's the front part of a train it's kind of sloped outward so that um, if there are cows on the train track it kind of pushes them out of the way without totally flattening them uh, look it up cow catcher never heard of it before I, I've seen them on trains but I didn't know what they were for or that they had a name uh, number 16 is crayon my daughter likes to color using uh, lots of different types of crayon. It's singular, sorry, crayons, but the word is actually crayon. Um, one crayon. 17, crocodilian. These are things related to crocodiles. So if it's a, maybe an ancestor or if things are, are, are similar to crocodiles, they'd be considered crocodilian. Number 18 is cylindrical something that has a cylinder shape, or kind of like a, like a Pringles can or a pop can, that'd be cylindrical. 19 is decibel. 
and it's a measurement of the intensity of sound, decibel, and number 20 is decontamination. This is where you try to remove um, dangerous substances or toxins from an area or from a person. Um, decontamination was number 20. So pause this video, uh, make sure you, you attempt to spell them on the lines and see how well you do. All right, good luck, bye.